What's up everybody? Welcome to Magic for Beginners. My name is Keith and today it's something a little bit more serious for a video. Today we're going to be talking about mental health and depression. Now I don't want this to be like a, a dampening video. This is sort of, I want to try and do it like a, a bit more of a motivational type video. So believe it or not, if you are suffering with mental health and depression, anxiety, anything like that, you're not alone. Many of us in the entire world suffer with the same thing. Some may be too embarrassed or too shy to talk about it, but we all suffer. I know there is a stigma with mental health and depression, especially when it comes to males and anything male oriented because we don't, we don't like to talk about feelings, let's be honest. But sometimes we need to, like for me, many many years ago I had quite a lot of time off work due to depression and a lot of it well most of it was work related so I was doing a, a reporting job and there was certain cases and things which I needed to pass on to support teams and other people within the uh, the prison service because it was a prison service contract that I was doing work for and basically some of the people just went arsed, weren't doing the job, not bothered. I was escalating up to hire people and they weren't really bothered either. So as a result, it was a lot, lot of stuff coming back on me th with things not being done and me constantly having to chase them and do this and bits and bobs. And it just got to, uh, it just got to a point where it was too much. So I took some time off work and obviously went on the sick and went to the doctors because the depression was that bad, it was just, I didn't want to get up in the morning, I didn't want to do anything, I just wanted to stay in bed all day, sleep, just try and basically waste the day and the world away. Um, but I went to the doctors, um, went to see them and got diagnosed, well, not diagnosed, but was obviously had depression, so I got some tablets, which was sertraline. Um, at first I was on 50 milligrams and they didn't seem to be working so I had to go up to 100 then up to 150 and I think at one point I was up to 200 milligrams so it was quite a, a hefty amount of tablets that I was consuming to try and help with this depression and um, obviously I had quite a lot of time off work and in that time most of it was just spent in bed or if I was lucky enough, I'd be able to get up and go sit on the city, watch a bit of TV and stuff. Other than that, I was just doing nothing. I had no will, nothing to do anything at all. Um, the only time I really got out of bed was to do the school runs and sort of stuff like that, and that was about it. Did try to get up and get out and go and walk and do things, but then I felt bad because I was off work. So in my head, I was thinking, I'm not at work so I'm not allowed out because if I get seen when I'm out from someone at work then obviously it'll reflect sort of badly but anyway <clears throat> I was off work for quite a while went back to work and nothing seemed to have changed I was there a couple of months and again the depression was getting really really badly it was getting so so under this big black dog as they call it that I just needed to take some time off again and went off again for many months um, I went to various different people to talk to them about different things and skills that I need to do so to try and help me get out of bed was had to do a list of three tasks that I was going to complete during the day so I was going to get up do the hoover and get up do the dishes get up and go for a walk or something so I have to write them down and then have to complete them and then tick them off but it didn't seem to didn't seem to work for me so that didn't really work and then after a few sessions of going talking to the counsellor and that sort of thing you were only allowed five or six I believe and then they would write you off and say basically that's it and so that wasn't really effective at all um, again still taking the tablets and as a result of the tablets they they did help with the depression but I was it was like I was a robot and there was just nothing there at all. So there was sort of no feelings, no happiness, no sadness, nothing. And 
I got to a point where uh, I was taking them and sort of discovered that the the whole thing behind the depression was from work so one way to get rid of it was get rid of work but wasn't in a position had a mortgage that sort of thing couldn't quit the job anyway just thought I stayed off as long as I could with getting the pay and stuff like that that we could manage and went back to work and at the time the photography stuff was I was picking it back up again and it was looking to to become like possibly a full time thing so at work I'd mentioned to them about possibly going part time not for the fact of I was struggling with work depression and stuff they, they knew I had depression and all this it was just part time because I was hoping to see if that would ease me mentally but in actual fact it was to try and do the, the photography full time rather than the work um, so had that in plan and things were coming in play with like the, the part time work I was getting to a point where it was due to be part time hours however the the company had offered redundancies and as I'd been there for 14 or 16 years it was quite a big redundancy packet so I thought I'll just take it, go, won't have that to worry about that'll help my mental health so much and then I can concentrate on the photography at the time and have that sort of money to fall back on so that's what I did, took the redundancy and that was November before COVID had happened so I uh, thought great get the end of the year out of the way with and then sort of Christmas New Year then January February March concentrate on photography so sort of push it out there that I do weddings and other commercial work and stuff like that try and get some work in and that would basically pan out for the year then March arrives COVID happened and knocked that to pot but I think the saving grace for me was that during the time when I was going to take the redundancy we were attending wedding fairs for our own wedding because we were getting married and bump into a guy called Andy Larmouth who's a magician and at the time when we saw it I hadn't really seen magic close up in person and it was like something new and fresh and he was going through doing the tricks and this thing and then did like the uh, the Omni deck and I left that day, we'd booked him for the wedding because we were like this class, this would be perfect entertainment because we were having a circus themed wedding so like incorporate and Andy was a fantastic magician and as a person really easy to get on with and the Omni deck, I got home and I was like how was that done? So straight on YouTube like how do you do um, what was it magic trick with uh, block of plastic for deck or something like that found it anyway and was like that's quite interesting that, that's uh, that's quite fun and then I wanted to learn it so I thought that's very interesting I want to do something like that so that's when I started the the magic journey as you say maybe it's three four years ago um, started doing stuff on uh, YouTube and watching things like that and learning more magic and obviously with lockdown happening I didn't have a job there was no photography jobs so I was in the house and the kids were in the house as well and that sort of thing so I was using that time to practice magic learn magic watch as much magic as I could and it was weird like a lot of people during covid had the worst depression the worst mental health that they've ever had whereas i was the complete opposite there was obviously the the depression of not being able to get out of the house do things go places see people like i couldn't even go visit parents and siblings and nothing like that we could but it was in the garden and it was just as you've been there it's just been an absolute nightmare but the fact that I was learning magic and doing magic throughout lockdown that really helped with my mental health and of course created this channel magic for beginners 
So I'm a beginner magician. I can create videos as I'm learning and create tutorials and tricks and things that I've learned that I can share with others, which is sort of like free free knowledge essentially. Not not marketed things, not bought things, but like the things that I've learned. So yeah, obviously started doing like I was reading Expert the Card Table and all these other magic books and like the Broadway reversals, so I was creating magic tricks using that and that's the cocky chosen card. Create that, was doing the video, scarf through neck, all these sort of things. I enjoyed shooting the videos for it and doing magic and that that has helped so much with depression and mental health. Just having that something there that you can go to and just sit down learn relax and watch with it like i think a lot of things people with <coughs> depression and mental health is they don't have any particular outlet to try and help with it so even just like drawing or creating art or something like that something to take the mind of it i think with me when i was suffering with being off work i was the same either obviously I did photography that was sort of a hobby and uh, it was a bit of a job as well but I didn't feel like I could go out and do that because I was off work with depression and because I was off work I couldn't go out and so that sort of defeated the whole object of that as a hobby but I think if I'd had a hobby like magic at the time then it would have helped so much more because it would be a case of you'd wake up and think, right, so today I'm gonna I'm gonna work on a double lift, I'm gonna try and get this better, I'm gonna think about some pattern for this trick and I'm gonna think of different ways, different outs that I can have. So if I'm doing a trick and something messes up, I've got an out. It's something like that to keep you focused so you're not just stuck in bed or stuck in limbo with the mental health and depression. But yeah, I think it's a tough subject like a lot of people don't want to talk about it or talk about it I think when I was suffering at the beginning I was very coy and shy about it thinking it's a very complex subject and a taboo subject that no one really talks about because it's not really in the media it's not like everybody has depression but some people react different and that sort of thing but it wasn't until further down the, the journey of having depression that it was sort of everyone has issues with it, everyone has issues with mental health, anxiety, that sort of thing. We're not alone in the fact that we all suffer with it. So it got to a point where I was very, very open with it. I was putting on Facebook and other things like that saying about depression and how I was feeling some days a good day some days a bad day put on like it's a good day managed to get out of bed do this blah 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 I think it's sharing that with other people which has helped me through it all rather than just keeping it all bottled up or kept in inside of you it's quite hard there's obviously you can talk to like significant others parents that sort of thing but it's sometimes harder to talk to them about it because you don't want to seem weak or seem vulnerable because as a stereotypical male you're meant to be like the dominant person in the house who looks after everyone and you need to to be top of the game so you can look after them protect them essentially which is a load of bullshit really like everyone everyone is equal so if you're in a relationship with someone then you're both equal, you both should look after each other, you should both be like protecting each other, that sort of thing. So I think one of the things which if you're suffering with mental health and depression is try and find someone to talk about it. Even if it's just someone online just via messenger or text messages or something like that, just talking about it releases such a huge like a big massive chip off your shoulder regarding it 
and then you sort of open up a bit and then that helps you and again it's trying to find what is the issue so is it work related stress or depression if so then what can you do to counteract that is it I don't know someone at work that's basically hindering you or something like that is it worth trying to see speak to a manager to try and get moved around or something like that or is it worth going part time is it too many hours stressing you out doing too much work like if you've got another job at home doing a, a different thing is it like too much effort doing your nine to five job essentially and then coming home and doing this you need to give way if there's enough potential for this to be growing then take some time away from work as part time spend more time on the business to grow that fair enough you may be financially like financially gained by having this job but taking a little less finance in enough to cover bills and obviously other things like that but then having the freedom to do more with your work to grow that as a business to potentially do that full time that's going to improve your mental health so so much if it's work related stress and you're thinking getting rid of work to do this part time first and then go up and like I said me doing my photography videography stuff now is just amazing I never I never thought it would come to a point where I could do what I do full time not have to worry about going into work speaking to other people and like trying to chase people and do all that stuff yes there is ups and downs to your own business no matter what it is but at the end of the day it's your business and it's something that you're passionate about and you're dealing with so the the gains that you get from it are absolutely massive because they're all you're doing that's everything that you've done for the business is the gain and that's something that's paid off because you've done it obviously there is downfalls with various different things which happen and you have to deal with in business but again your that's your business so you're going to be fulfilled with getting those bad things correct or getting them around that way and the same with with other things like it depends on trying to find out where your mental health is coming from and trying to combat it in some way so if you've suffered from an anxiety and you're uh, you're not very confident going out into loud spaces there's things that you can get which you put in your ears and it reduces noise volume down several decibels so it's not as loud for people and a lot of people with um, autism and anxiety use these and people that I know use these on a regular basis and say it helps so so much and I think it's like £25 for these things and that's changed their life completely fair enough there's still that anxiety of going out in public spaces mixing with public and the loud noises a lot of people do suffer with that but this is something that you can do and use to help better your situation so you're not as you're not as anxious about your anxiety going out it's something that you can just take in your stride but yeah it's just it's a hard one to talk about or for people to open up about like with the the tablets when I was taking those it was yeah you're supposed to wean yourself off of them when you've been taking them from a certain period of time but I think for me it got to a point where I was just completely zoned out there was nothing there it was just I don't know it was like I was a robot and I, I just thought I was like I need to stop this so I just stopped taking them it's not very advisable to do that but for me that's something that I just wanted to do and just did and it took a while for them to get out of the the body as it does it takes a while for them to to work in the initial thing of when you when you take them it takes a while for it to work in your system 
but um, yeah they just sort of slowly worked out the system and then it was at a point where I was transitioning from the redundancy to the photography before COVID and it was I knew I was leaving anyway was taking the redundancy that that thing had been lifted off my chest so I knew that if I stopped taking the tablets I wouldn't I wouldn't have that depression because that thing that key source of depression has now gone so I did have no need for nothing else to to help and that's what I did and now like several years down the line I've not needed to take any tablets not need to speak anyone not really suffered much with depression there's sometimes there's the, the odd thing like if there's at a point in time where there's a lot of things on and a lot of things needs to be done with deadlines and that sort of thing it, it gets it gets on top of you and then it gets to a point where I'll just not want to do anything at all so I'll maybe spend a day in bed and just do nothing but then that helps refresh your body and your mind and gives you some relaxation and some time off so when you get back to it you're sort of refreshed and I think that's definitely advisable for anyone doing anything even though it seems you've got a lot on sometimes you need to just take some time out for yourself even if it's just one day or half a day just doing nothing or doing something that you enjoy which isn't related to whatever your job is or whatever is hitting you with the depression like we um for my birthday i booked us a, a spa with a meal so it was just nice to to get away in just the afternoon which we went there sat in the spa relaxed did nothing at all and then the next day back to the grind back to editing back to doing everything it was just that one day out that sometimes that you need and it's hard it's with covid we realized that a lot of things in life you don't really need or don't need to do so we found we were doing a lot of things like a lot of lot of things and not really getting any time to ourselves or any downtime or relaxation time and we were just basically stressed and depressed <laughs> and we said over covid because there was not much else on other than the wife going to, uh, to school because she was a teacher so she was a key worker obviously the kids were in the house and it was nice just to to spend some time with everyone and relax and we're out in the garden talking to neighbours sitting sunbathing that sort of thing it was just nice just to relax and catch up on that and then when Covid finished and lockdown finished people were going back to the normal things and just full of busy and doing this 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 just knocking everything out and it was like we realised that that's not something that we want to do like we want to take some time out for ourselves to go on adventures go spend time doing relaxing things going places that we love going on holiday and i think covid really really helped with that and that's really helped with our mental health as well because we've got things scheduled in and we we book things in we we put things in the calendar to say we're not going to do anything on these days we're going to go to the lakes or just do nothing in the house we'll schedule those in so we have those in the diary and you look forward to it whereas if you've got nothing in like that there's nothing to look forward to it's just work and work and work and work whereas if you have a diary and you put on saying this saturday we're gonna we'll go to the lakes because we love going there you can see that weeks ahead thinking oh look we've got a month to go and then we're gonna go to the lakes oh, two weeks we're gonna next week we're going there and then the beginning of the week it's like oh, yes the weekend we're gonna go there we're gonna have some fun we're gonna relax and do nothing it's just that's something really really good that you can do and that really helps or for example with the magic like if that's something which you think helps with your mental health as well why not put something in the diary or every day just to take out half an hour an hour it doesn't even have to be that 10 minutes 
10 minutes out of your schedule out of anything in life just to go sit down play with some cards there was even like a Rubik's Cube so I've been trying to learn how to do Rubik's Cube so I'm at a point now where I can solve one side of the Rubik's Cube fairly easy like whereas I never imagined I would ever be able to do it so it's just like sitting down like this say for example the yellow side while we're talking I'll just see what I can do and see if I can solve it it's getting some time to yourself so that you can sit down and I don't know maybe he's something that you wanted to learn in the past something that you've always wanted to do that you've never been able to do you could sit down and you could like learn that so if you want to do a magic trick for example or you want to do something else or like I don't know like anything in life that you've wanted to do but you've never had time to do it you can sit down and schedule out time even like I said 10-20 minutes just to to learn something and do something that's not related to work and that helps you with your mental health and gets you through like I never in a million years would have dreamed that I'd be able to do this and again over time wanting to sit down and just learn how to solve the full thing so again I can take the, the, the white side here and then that's the the main thing that you've been sort of learning to do and then you can just take it and I said 10 minutes sitting on night I've just got it beside the bed I just sit there learn some algorithms and then um, I can just go through and on a night time just sit there and learn it and again like magic as I said has really really helped with my depression and something creative and something that's helping you think out of your standard life like you've got things going on in life just take some time out and do some magic like I don't know it's hard like I said it's, it's hard to talk about and hard for people to to grasp about depression and how it doesn't have to be a stigma how everyone suffers sometimes some people speak out about it sometimes they're very coy about it don't want to share it because they think that that's a failure for them but it's not so yeah I think I've uh, rambled on quite enough for this video but yeah it's mental health awareness month I believe or something like that um, as I said sort of quite a big advocate of people speaking out about mental health and how they suffer and just getting out there just so people don't have to live with it in silence and in their head like it's got to a point where I've not wanted to be here anymore and had thought of doing various things to for that to happen and after speaking about it realizing that that's a ridiculous thing to do a ridiculous thing to say because of all of the other aspects that would happen obviously with family and all of that but that's sometimes thoughts that people have with depression that they want it all to end and the easiest way is just to end it all but obviously that's not the way so if yeah there's helplines if you have no one around your close proximity friends and family who you think you can speak to there's um, websites online which you can go and you can speak to people about it and like I said helplines so you can phone someone up and talk about it because that's the hardest thing is just talking about it getting that initial thing saying to someone like when I when I went to the doctors the first thing I went in and sat down I was like oh how can I help you I was like um, hi I've I've got depression and I need some help that was the the opening line or words that I said to the doctor 
and obviously the reply was like okay we'll get you help what and then it was to sort of just describe and then talk in further depth about the depression and what was causing it what was happening how how i felt and obviously went from there got the tablets and then got referred to the the people to talk to them and that sort of thing so again if you've got no one close if you don't want to talk on the phone to someone about it don't want to talk online to anyone about it go see the doctors they will happily refer you to someone who you can speak to in person who's completely anonymous and doesn't know you and also they can sort of go through and prescribe tablets and other things which can help you so i had an issue with sleeping really badly so i couldn't sleep at all i would go to bed if i was tired bing wide awake and throughout the night if i managed to drop off say three o'clock in the morning i'll be awake multiple times and it was just terrible and the doctors prescribed some sleeping tablets which i used for about a month and they don't like to prescribe them for long times because people can get addicted to them but that helped incredibly and made me get sleep and inevitably help with the mental health because I wasn't tired, I wasn't groggy it just helped so much and even now I've got um, I use a thing from Sane Supplements called Calm which is tablets that I take about an hour before sleep and it helps me sleep so take two of them and within about an hour I can sort of feel myself being really really sleepy and then that helps me get off to sleep and they're just amazing I think I've been using them for about three months now and they're just best thing ever because despite having the no depression I still had trouble with sleeping and it was like I said, sometimes fall asleep at 3, 4 in the morning, but then be up at 7 o'clock, so I'm not getting much sleep at all. And then it turns out that it's like I'm tired, I'm groggy, I'm angry, and like shouting at all the family and things, and it's just not not good for the, the family perspective or you as a person or nothing like that. So the you need sleep. So if you're struggling with sleep go see the doctors or try something else like like i said those tablets and we tried some um melatonin vape stick kind of thing so you take some of that about an hour before sleep and because the melatonin in it, it helps you relax and drop off to sleep sometimes those worked and sometimes they didn't depending on the night which is really weird but these tablets seem to work uh, I would say 9 times out of 10 but probably it's like 19 times out of 20 there's, there's sometimes one night when I've like overthinking things and got things that need to be done that I just can't settle and I'll get up do a bit of work and then come to bed and then go to sleep but yeah like again said I was going to finish the video but I just think it's something valid to talk about for people because people don't talk about it so I think getting a video like this out is hopefully going to help some people. I know it was a bit of a ramble and a lot of it was based around me and not really mental health as a general to help people. It's more about my experience and story but hopefully that would help some people if they're suffering and if they were in a similar situation thinking what can I do to get out of it then that's some of the ways so yeah I think hopefully I may do a couple of other videos like this throughout the years on the channel because there is specific days and months that are related to mental health and like I said I think it's a, a subject which isn't talked about often either in person or online that it needs a bit more exposure especially like in the magic community because magicians with all jokes aside are very much like photographers is that they are very lonely people so a magician would essentially practice on his own or her own in their 
the house or bedroom or whatever where they are learning a trick and practicing a trick that's many hours spent alone obviously there's performing for people which is you sort of engage with people but to performances and venues and weddings and things like that you're in the car on your own you don't really know anyone you're just making friends as you go or generally you don't know anyone but you're making friends and doing all this once the gig's finished travel home on your own obviously you'll have like families and things like that at home and people there but sometimes if you don't then you're in the house on your own and it's the same with the photography so when it comes to like the shoot and the wedding you sort of luckily I've got my wife with us so we do everything together with regards to the photography on the wedding day so you've got two angles but if you're a photographer on your own you sort of on your own you don't know anyone you know the bride and groom a bit but you're doing that throughout the day then when you get home you've got many hours spent on your own editing and it's that thing of being in a room on your own with your own focus your own thoughts while you're doing this work it's very it's a very lonely profession and magic is the same unless you're sort of I don't know going out creating magic and when it gets to a point where you you film the magic like on street magic so you've got like your friends who are filming or your, your colleagues who are filming that sort of thing and there is that thing like Blackpool and other conventions uh, magic circles so I'm in the Middlesbrough one we go there we meet up every other week that's a thing where you get together with other magicians but then the rest of the time you're there on your own unless of course like you've got magician friends and you spend every day together like maybe it's going over tricks and routines and stuff like that and it's someone that is a friend and also a magician that's like that's an amazing thing to have but the majority of people aren't going to have that they're going to be very much on their own so I think because of that sometimes mental health and depression hits that person much harder so just trying to to get awareness out and trying to get people talking about it if they're suffering then go speak to someone there's all sorts of things so yeah that's uh that's it for the video if uh if you want to see more videos like this where it's a bit more of a real talk then let us know in the comments and like i said hopefully it's not going to be like a channel full of mental health stuff it's all obviously always going to be magic but sometimes from time to time it's nice to to throw in this real talk stuff like when i did the the podcast with matt it was it was nice just to do something a bit different so you're just talking to each other and it's just more real than your deck reviews your trick reviews and the other magic stuff that goes on the channel which is obviously entertaining sometimes i hope and obviously informative but this is something which is a different kind of informative which people need to be informed about essentially so yeah but yeah if you're suffering please please speak out go see someone anonymous hotline anonymous online talking a friend a family member doctors something like that please because the the amount of people who are suffering and ultimately end their own lives because of depression and mental health is just skyrocketing and that's not something that none of us want so yeah until next time see ya